If you're sitting here instead of trying to glue your being together, you probably have come across a music while procrastinating for another 5 minutes. Music, in a definitive manner, is an art form involving the intricate acoustic composition of numerous standardized components in such a colorful or stylish fashion that is pleasing to the organic sound receptors that is our ears. Said contributors are listed as followed. Harmony, pleasant sequence of sounds, patterns, and melodies. Melody, series of notes in various pitches and duration that possesses musical properties. Note, a unit depicting a sound. Pitch, the frequency of sound wave in which determines whether a note expresses low or high value. Dynamic, variety in composition. Articulation, toying with notes, not the sexual kind. Structure, how the composition is planned. Rhythm, a combination of the above mentioned entities in addition to silence periods, looped. Texture, how the music sounds. Expression, emotion in performing music. Timber, the quote-unquote color of music which allows instruments to produce different sounds, creating a certain uniqueness. Notation, and I shall return to this section, the method of visualizing music for exclusively intellectual individuals with a trained neocortex to comprehend such mayhem. Let's turn to the music sheet. What's perceived to be five power lines extending to the limits of what printing paper hallucinatorily allows entails the overall landscape of musical visualization. This is a C scale, a series of notes starting from C all the way to another C. The notes ascend alphabetically indefinitely to the edge of human hearing capability. Each consecutive note is separated by two semitones, the music equivalent of interval or difference in pitch, from each other with the exception of and B to C, which are only a semitone apart, and that's the bare minimum prerequisite for anyone with a pair of functioning ears to put together a mediocre composition. So let's be fairly more professional, shall us? The lines themselves in jargons are called staffs, and unless you originated from a distant realm and somehow ended up in this dirt hole, the minimum and maximum number of lines attributed to every single existent and non-existent music sheets is 5, because apparently some fancy classical music scholars decided that pentanon curving black tick strokes in parallelism is a law of music. Of course, logically, to solve the issue of notes expressing pitches exceeding the bars of the 5 lines are housed on ledgers, and these things are about as short as my imaginary reproductive organ. In compensation with the running tracks are perpendicular lines. Lines. The bar lines are simply to cut time signatures, the double bar lines indicate a change in tempo or time signature, and bold double marks the end of a composition. When two staffs make the agreement to hook up and do a collaboration, i.e. being played simultaneously, we use a bracket if it is two different instruments in the work and fancy bracket, aka a brace, if the staffs are executed on the same instrument. Study for the beginning of the lines, we draw the clefs. Clefs are essentially logos in cursive indicating specific notes in its position in terms of pitches as a baseline for other notes to follow. The G clef or treble clef implies G4 as a waypoint, while the F clef or bass clef deals with the surrounding of F3. Oh, and there's also the C clef, but you know what's slightly more useful than this overly curly clef? The neutral clef, an alternative marking for percussive instruments, allowing them to utilize the line to represent a drum kit instead of notes and pitches. To assist strings instrument, a unique system named tablature do count and also full stops. Following the class comes the key signature. Here you can notice the first encounter of accidentals, a tool which is responsible for slightly adjusting the pitch of a note. The B-shaped one is called a flat accidental, despite its obviously not very flat appearance. It lowers the note by one semitone. The hashtag on the opposite end raises one semitone in pitch and the neutral accidental nullifies any influence of key signature on a note. Now for the actual key signature. They basically assign which notes are played with which accidental throughout a composition. Immediately after the hashtag mess stands the time signature. They fundamentally determines the rhythmic pulse or beat of a music piece. For a lack of a better and more understandable explanation, imagine these non-Romanian numbers as a fraction where the denominator is the number of bars for a singular loop or slice of music, while the numerator tells you how many beats there are in one bar. And at this point, if you do not comprehend the logic of fraction, then you simply do not have a brain. Moving forward orderly, there's the accompanying tempo or Latin symbols that instruct the flow of the composition. Either one can easily put in a number that represents a mentally audible pace for the piece, or play it fancy and write P, which literally stands for piano. So logically, you play the composition quietly, and the volume plummets as you add in more P's. In contrary, the composer could also want the piece to be loud and powerful, and depicts that by adding an F for forte, and the same rules applies by adding more F's. Don't like letters? Do math! Use an equation sign indicating whether the volume should be increasing or decreasing. The main course, the heart of the music, without it, everything presented is rendered absolutely useless. Yes, there are notes. Notes exist in two forms within a music sheet, notes and rest. The former actually spit audio, while the latter impersonate a moment of silence stretched to the designated length of that rest. To illustrate varying lengths, a compilation of diverse symbolic designs, taking the whole note as the foundation, to multiply or divide the time the note is played exponentially by adding strokes of stems or flag, which is draw something completely different to complicate the matter for every music reader. There are also modifications for the notes such as the beam notes, the dotted notes, and the ghost notes for all your 
online dating troubles. Blood circulates so music employs several status marks like the apostrophe, which literally command the player to take a breath or die to the lack of oxygen. Following the mathematic trend, the parallel symbol tells the musician to take a break for as long as they desire, and when you think music couldn't get more humanized, meet articulation and ornaments. For punctual reasons that I won't dive into, musical jewelry furnishes the look of a note by shifting its length, style, volume, and pitch pattern. Sometimes, notes can be in a relationship, and while there are many kinds of relationship, the most prevalent and frequent of them that normally music enjoys will most likely encounter of chords and arpeggiated chords. They are essentially no that instill harmonic properties when pulled off simultaneously or when played quickly in succession. Certain times, a composer, either for the sake of time or not wasting paper to protect the environment, used distinct symbols to show repetition in particular locations throughout the piece. Repeat signs, self-explanatory. C mal signs, repeat signs but for beat measurement. Photo bracket, different endings are to be played, so best you do if you want to unlock the musical Easter egg. Del Capo, play the whole thing again. Dal Sagno, play it again but from this indicator. Sniper Crosshair, jump to the ending, much like how Sniper helped the clients jump to their life immediately. And in order to fabricate the chaos, let me introduce you to musical instruments. Drum chair, copper plate, saucepan, handheld saucepan, literal triangle, tambourine, drum kit, shaky shaky, flute, flute distant cousin, back of flutes, trumpet, trombone, french horn, sax guy, box string, mini box string, no metal box string but no box, string played with more strings, chonga strings played with more strings, piano, piano but many, now go enjoy some music, bye bye!